Hello friends, welcome. This is part 3 of the video in which I am doing the last moment revision and clarification of important choleric signal cards. If you have not seen the previous parts, I would suggest you see the part 1 and part 2 first because all these cards are as per the sequence in the call rig. Let's continue. So here is a card which is two trawlers who are doing pair trawling. The white lip like figure is indicating the search light which is pointed towards the other trawler. And the white over red light displayed on each trawler indicates that they are hauling nets. And with the side lights it's confirmed that these trawlers are making way. So when answering to the examiner for this card, you will say two vessels, each less than 50 meters because there is no additional masthead light. They are engaged in pair trawling operation, currently hauling up the nets. Action in this case will be one shot blast alter course to starboard. The day signal will be that each trawler will show two cones with apex pointing towards each other and additionally flag G and flag T. G, as I mentioned in the previous part, indicates that they are heaving up the nets and flag T indicates that the trawlers are engaged in pair trawling. The restricted visibility sound signal will be, which is there for a hampered vessel, one prolonged followed by two shot blast. And further in this video, I will just say standard RV sound signal for the hampered vessels. In the part 2, I had shared how to remember the signal for heaving up the net when net is fast upon obstruction or when you are shooting net and what flags are used and what are the colors of flag in case you have to identify a day signal. So I would recommend that you definitely watch that part if you have not seen it yet. Moving on to the next card. This is a fishing vessel other than a trawler with gear extending 150 meters or less because there is no additional all-round white light and the yellow lights which are flashing indicates that this particular fishing vessel uses the Persean gears. So to the examiner you would answer fishing vessel other than trawler using Persean gear extending 150 meters or less making way because side lights are there seen and on. Action will be one shot blast alter course to starboard Day signal will be two cones with apex towards each other and the restricted visibility sound signal is the standard hampered vessel sound signal. Next vessel is almost the same except in this case the gears are extending more than 150 meters. Rest everything is same fishing vessel other than trawler using per scene gear extending more than 150 meters and making way seen end on. Action is same alter course to starboard. Day signal is same, two cones with apex towards each other and additionally because the gears are extending more than 150 meters thus there is an additional cone with apex upward in the direction of gear in this case towards the starboard side of the fishing vessel and the restricted visibility sound signal is the standard hampered vessel sound signal coming on to the next card, two red lights in a vertical line and the side lights this indicates are not under command vessel which is making way seen end on. Action would be one shot blast alter course to starboard and the day signal for not under command vessel is two black balls in a vertical line where it can be best seen and the restricted visibility sound signal is the standard signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is a bit tricky with two options. You can see two possibilities here. One is that and a ground vessel which is less than 50 meters is there or it's a NUC vessel which is making way when seen from astern. Action required for the ground vessel is always that you reverse your course and inform master and in case this is a vessel which is not under command, short blast alter course to starboard. The day signal for not under command vessel will be two black balls in a vertical line and for the ground vessel it's three black balls in a vertical line. Restricted visibility sound signal for the not under command vessel is standard hampered vessel signal. For the ground vessel, the sound signal is three distinct stroke on the bell before and after rapid ringing of the bell for five seconds. Also may sound an additional signal which is two short blast followed by one indicating the Morse code uniform which is an indication for the other vessel that you are running into danger. 
Next card indicates a ram vessel because of the red, white and red. And there is only single masted light. So the length indicates that it's less than 50 meters and it's making way seen end on. As mentioned in the previous parts, there are only three kinds of vessel which give a clear indication if they are making way. One is the fishing vessel, then not under command vessel and these ram vessels. Every time we see their side lights or stern lights, it means that the vessel is making way. So to the answer the examiner, you would say the vessel ram or a dredger involved in an underwater operation without obstruction, less than 50 meters making way seen end on. Your action will be one shot blast alter course to starboard. The day signal is ball, diamond and a ball in a vertical line. And the RV sound signal is the standard signal for the hampered vessels. Next card also gives two possibilities. One is that it's a ram vessel dredger involved in an underwater operation without obstruction. The two mast headlights indicate that the length is probably 50 meters or more and the side light clarify that they are making way. And the second possibility is that these two mast headlights are in a vertical line indicating a towing vessel and length of the towing vessel is less than 50 meters underway and only two mast headlights confirm that the length of the tow is either 200 meters or less. In both these possibilities, the action will be one shot blast alter goes to starboard and the day signal will be ball diamond ball in a vertical line and RV sound signal will be standard signal for the hampered vessels. This particular card is clear that this is a towing vessel. However, there are further two possibilities. Either the length of the vessel is 50 meters and the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters or the length of the vessel is 50 meters or more but length of the tow in that case would be either 200 meters or less. Action would be standard one shot blast alter goes to starboard and day signal is ball diamond ball in a vertical line. And if the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters and length of the vessel is less than 50 meters then there would be an additional diamond indicating that the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters. And the RV sound signal is standard sound signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is for the dredger involved in an underwater operation with obstruction. In this case, on the starboard side of the vessel, indicated with the two red lights in a vertical line. And the safe side is the port side, which is indicated by the two green lights in a vertical line. Single masthead light confirms that the length of the vessel is less than 50 meters. And side lights confirm that it's making way and it is seen end on. So to the examiner you would say it's a dredger. Less than 50 meters in length. Ram with obstruction on the starboard side. Making way seen end on. Then action in this case will be one shot blast alter course to starboard. And day signal for this is ball diamond ball in a vertical line. Two diamonds in a vertical line on the safe side which is the port side in this case. Two balls in a vertical line on the obstruction side, which is the starboard side of the vessel. And the sound signal for the RV is the standard sound signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is only ram lights indicating that it's a ram or a dredger involved in an underwater operation without obstruction, underway but stopped. Or the second possibility is that it's a small vessel engaged in a diving operation. Please note that I just used the word underway but stopped. Normally we say underway but stopped or at anchor for the fishing vessels. Because on the ram vessels, if the vessel is at anchor, you need to use the anchor lights along with the ram indication. Action in both the cases will be one shot blast alter course to starboard. For the day signal, there'll be ball diamond ball in a vertical line. And if it's a small vessel which is engaged in diving operation, a rigid flag alpha along with it. Then the RV sound signal will be the standard signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is for the mine clearance vessel, which is less than 50 meters underway seen end on. Mine clearance is indicated by these three green lights which are triangularly placed on the ship. And remaining all light features are as per the 
signals which are required for the power driven vessel so this has only single masted light so less than 50 meters in length and we use the term underway for this then action in this case is one shot blast alter goes to starboard and pass more than 1000 meters then the day signal for this is three balls one at the four masthead one at the each end of the four yard so it's basically forming a triangle again and the RV sound signal is the standard signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is exactly the same except the mine clearance vessel in this case is probably 50 meters or more because there are two masthead lights. So other than that everything is same it's seen end on. Action will be one shot blast alter goes to starboard and pass more than 1000 meters from this vessel. The day signal will be three balls, one at the four masthead and one on each end of the four yard. RV sound signal is standard for the hampered vessel. Another card for the mine clearance vessel. I am putting this card just because sometimes it used to confuse me when looking at it from the starboard side. So this is simply the two lights which you can see because you cannot fully see the triangle. So it's a mine clearance vessel, probably 50 meters or more because of the two masthead lights seen from the starboard side action in this case will be two shot blast and alter course to port and then pass more than thousand meters i would like to point out that it's wrongly mentioned on the card to alter to starboard but it's actually port and then day signal is three balls one at four mast head and one at each end of the four yard and the rv sound signal is the standard sound signal for the hampered vessels Next card is indicating three red lights which means a vessel which is constrained by her draft. Single masthead light indicates it's less than 50 meters in length and it's seen underway end on. To the examiner you would say vessel constrained by draft less than 50 meters in length underway seen end on. The action will be one shot blast alter goes to starboard. Day signal for the CBD vessel is a cylinder where it can be best seen. And the RV sound signal is standard signal for the hampered vessels. Next card is white over red, that means pilot ahead. It is indicating a pilot vessel which is underway seen end on. Just for your knowledge that in the pilot vessels there is no indication of the length of the vessel. You never switch on the masthead lights. As long as the vessel is on pilotage duty. So to the examiner you would just say pilot vessel underway seen end on. One shot blast alter course to starboard will be the action. The daylight signal will be flag hotel which basically means that we have pilot on board. And finally the RV signal will be one prolonged blast for making way. Two prolonged blast with two seconds interval in between when stopped. This sound signal is basically for a normal power driven vessel. For this pilot vessel additionally there will be four shot blast which are sounded. 4 shot blast in the morse code means H again indicating that we have pilot on board I had forgotten to mention the characteristics of the flashing lights which are used to indicate the perceen gear so the characteristics are that these lights shall flash alternatively each second with equal light and occultation duration I hope it was a useful video for you if you have any suggestion feedback or comment then please do write down below. I thank you for watching and all the best for your exams.